Hey guys, Humans for Targets here, and uh, I ordered or I bought a used holster uh, off somebody, and it was sent through the mail, and it came today. And what that is is a shoulder harness for my Sig 220 ST. This is a very heavy gun, and I would never attempt to carry this gun um, for me on an in the waistband holster or an over the waistband holster. Just for me, it wouldn't work. I believe the gun's like 30-some ounces unloaded. So there it is. I'll show you here how it, how the strap is over the back. There's the other side. Extra magazine pouch right in here. Got the SIG mag in there. Of course, loaded with the Courtney. 230 grain TAPs, good to go. And uh, something else very unique I found out about this holster after messing around with it for a while. So uh, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut the film right here, and I'm gonna come back and show you um, what else I found out about this holster. Okay, guys. Well, here's what I come to find out about this holster. Let me take this sig out of here. And by the way, yes, this is a left-handed holster. I shoot left-handed. Glock 27. Fits right in there. Nice and snug. Now there's a reinforcement here on the snap, which I like. It keeps it stiff. So you just pop it open with your thumb when you need to get to it. So that'll help you uh, get it open quicker. Glock 27 fits perfectly. This right here holds a little rubber stop in there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, this gun's unloaded. I already checked it. But uh, there's the rubber stop in front of the trigger guard. Prevents the gun from coming through the other way. And it works. This Glock fits perfectly in there. And then you come over here to the mag pouch. Take out the SIG 220 mag. G27 mag. Fits right in there. And there you go. You're ready to roll. I mean, I was just very happy to see that I could do that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to try. We're going to try the G17. See if that'll work. And I'm betting it will. Okay. Get the 23 out here. There we go. See, it comes out nice and smooth. Um, fits fine. Okay. We're going to use the Humans for Targets G17 with the uh, Talon Grip. Oh, looky there. So basically, I've probably got so far, let's see here. Probably about 10 guns right now I could use this for. See, there's a G17, fits fine. Rubber stop in front of the trigger guard right here. Screws through there. Snap, fits fine. Ain't going nowhere. Look, I'll hold it by the strap here. Ain't going nowhere. Uh, let's see if a G17 magazine will fit in the in the mag pouch. And I, I think it will. G17 mag. 17 rounder. Nice. All the way up there. And then you can use this snap here. The There's two snaps in there. You can use the upper one there. Nice, perfect fit. Yeah, so if you've got one of these, this is a Galco Miami Classic Light shoulder holster. So if you have one of these um, for a SIG 220, you probably will be able to fit about any Glock you have in there. I'm not sure the 21 frames yet. I will have to get uh, I'll have to get that gun out later. And one of my 21s or my G30s and try those out. Uh, um, now if you have 
this holster for a Glock, it may not work for the SIG. The SIG may be just a little bit bigger. The SIG holster may be just a little bit bigger, but I'm telling you, this works fine and it ain't going nowhere. So, Galco Classic Miami light shoulder holster. Um, it, I love it. I got this for 35 bucks, and it looks brand new. And the gun, the SIG, was even fitting in there tight till after I put it in there a few times. So I don't even think the guy had it wore in. So, yeah. Just wanted to show you guys that. And it's a really good shoulder holster if you're looking for one. Uh, I believe these run 70 to 80 new. Just in case you wanted to know. So, you know, you can order it online. Alright, everyone. Humans for targets. And I'm out.